Hello guys, welcome back to VFIX Technology in our Laravel CRUD series. In this video, we're gonna be learning how we can show the validation error message into our form. So let's jump to the VS Code. In last video, we did create the form. So far, the form is just a hard-coded form. It does not have any, uh, you know, in sort of integration or association to any controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and come to app HTTP post controller, and that's the function which is gonna work when we say store. So the very first thing we will start the validation. We're gonna say request. This is a request instance. It is coming from the function and we can access that request. And we will say request should be validated, validate. And within validation, we're gonna pass an array and we will pass the keys. The first name is title. And we would say required. Then we would say, let's say max 300 and supposed to be a string. Then let's say image, we're gonna say the image could be nullable. Let's keep it nullable first, then we will start the validation later on. Then in order to filter the image type, we're gonna say MIMES, PNG, JPEG, JPEG, or maybe any format, WebP or whatever you want. We will later on play around with these formats, how it works. Then we could say max, and we can pass some size 1080. It's it going to take in kilobytes, so it becomes the 1024 becomes one megabyte. Then we would say body. That's the last parameter we have in our database and it is supposed to be required and max and supposed to be a string and maximum number of characters, let's keep it 2000. Validation is done. Now, if we go ahead and send the data to the form, the first action, course of action is gonna take, do this validation. Let's check it out how it works. I'm gonna go ahead and submit and that came back. Technically, the error did happen, but it did not show. Now I will teach you how you can show the form specific errors. Let's go back to the form. So here's in the title, I'm gonna say a blade errors method. And it is going to be the name of the row title. Then I would say span dot text danger. And here we're going to pass the message. In the similar way, I'm going to do with the image error. Key is image. Again, span should be text danger. So it's going to be red and message. And finally, we will do the same with the text area. At, I'm not copy pasting the code. I just wanted to make sure you guys should learn rather than copy pasting the code. So if you type yourself, it makes the memory and you don't forget it easily. The final was the body and span dot text danger and it's gonna be message. Now let's see how it works. If I go ahead, do not inject or fill the data and click on submit, the magic happens. If you see that, the title did show the errors, the body did show the error because we have selected in the code, in our controller, the image is nullable. So if I make it required, now if you redo it, it shows the image error too. Now, if I make the image, let's say only PNG, just for an example, and try to upload any JPEG image or maybe zip file and submit it. Let me refresh and try an image. 
Maybe I missed something. Let me see. My image should work. Let's try some image. Mm, PNG, PNG. Let's make it JPEG. And we will try to upload a PNG image. Maybe a short one. This one. Title, body, submit. And now there you go. It shows the error message. The image supposed to be a JPEG, not a PNG format. So this is how we can go ahead, put the validation into the form and shows on the real time. In the next video, we will show you how we can go ahead and insert the data into our form and also will show you how we can show the old data. If you see that, as of now, if I fill something and submit, the old data is gone. It won't even show. So again, we do have to reinsert it. Stick with the series, subscribe the channel. Thank you so much for your support.